Hello everybody! It's a rainy day in Okinawa and it's not yet my day off. I have work in about, what's this now, about two hours from now. But I'm enjoying this time at home. Those of you who know me know that I, I really enjoy my alone times. So I'm enjoying being at home. But I just thought I'd come on quickly to share. Just share with you guys about transitioning. And this the idea of this video came mm, as a kind of a confirmation from a group I'm a part of. Uh, we were talking about it. Actually, I was thinking about it before. But I decided to do it now because my friends and I were talking about it. So this video is to help individuals, help you if you are thinking about moving to a new place, maybe to a new country, um, a new community, just, just somewhere new. So this is designed <laughs> to help you in your transition. All right, so... What are some of the things that you need to consider to take in mind if you are going to be moving from your comfort zone? So the first thing is that you, you must expect differences. And especially if you're traveling across cultures like I did, I'm from the West and I'm now living in Asia. And believe me, the culture is so different. Okay, so in your mind, it will be good for you to expect that you are going to see and experience differences. Differences in, in varying ways, different kinds of food, different kinds of mannerisms, different kinds of personalities, different kinds of atmosphere, different kinds of um, money. It took me a while to get adjusted to the yen here. I just, for the life of me, I just could not appreciate the value of the money. Thank God now I have a little bit more appreciation for it. So <laughs> I'm not just spending as, you know, just thinking in my mind that this is a Jamaican dollar or something. So please, in your mind, prepare yourself there will be differences and you want to ensure that you are prepared to um to live according to those differences some things you will not um be some things will not be to your liking but i mean with any transition as a matter of fact wherever you are there are things that are not according to your liking but you still live but sometimes when we move to a new place, it's almost like we expect things to be so much different, to be so much better. And if we get to a point where we find that things are actually worse or some things are actually worse, it can really weigh us down. And so I, I encourage you to really think about, you know, how different it's going to be. Look up where you're going, do some research, you know, check online. There are a lot of information on YouTube. Um, listen to other person's experiences if you can find individuals who are in the community that you would be going it would be good for you to get some information from them you know that will help to make your adjustment a little bit easier even mentally it's a big part of of your adjustment so try and do that also you want to embrace the change and enjoy it <laughs> Try not to think about where you're coming from and how you're accustomed to things being and to doing things and the people and stuff. Um, it's going to be so much easier if you just embrace the change. Okay, this is what it is. Let me just try and adjust to it and enjoy it for what it is. I mean, there is beauty in diversity and there is so much more we can learn and and so much to add value to our lives if we try and embrace some of the differences that um come from being in other places from other people and stuff so 
I would really encourage you to just embrace the change and enjoy it. The other thing that I would encourage you to do is to be prepared to compromise. Be prepared to compromise. And I say that because in my own example, I as I as I transitioned here to Japan, I had to start working on the weekends and especially on Sundays. And for me, that is like one of the worst things that could ever happen to me. Because I all I was always I'm a Christian and I'm, you know, I'm always involved in church and activities and just love being with God's people. And it was so difficult when I just came to not be able to do that. But I have, you know, I've just embraced it and tried to get the fellowship that I deserve when I can, you know, maybe during the week or after work on Sundays because I, I leave work a little bit earlier than normal on Sundays but that's one of the things we, you have to be prepared to do to make compromises it's not going to be the way you want it all the time even if you have to sacrifice for a short period of time um, then it's something that you should consider doing because you know it's it, it just makes your life easier all right, you also want to give yourself time to adjust. Um, the, just being in a new location, it's going to weigh, it weighs heavier on your mind if you keep thinking about um, how things were, how you knew them to be and how you want them to be. And um, in, in your mind, you are trying to do everything to get things back the way that you have been accustomed to having them. And it's going to be so much harder if you do that. Um, don't try to accomplish everything quickly. Um, take things in stride and allow things to progress naturally. Um, and I say that, not saying that you should be lazy and you know just sit around and wait for things to happen but try not to expect things to happen too quickly like i really want to learn to speak japanese i so want to learn i'm just so amazed when i hear like the kids speaking japanese and i'm i'm trying to understand what they're saying i have no idea what they're saying but that's one of the things that i really wanted to do when i just came and I found that it's so difficult because mainly because of my work schedule that I've not been able to do that and I could have allowed that to really get me down because when people are trying to communicate with you and you can't understand um, I can't understand because I don't speak Japanese they don't speak English so it's so difficult but I'm looking forward to another few months where I, my schedule will change and I will have the opportunity to be focused on, you know, just pursuing this desire of mine. Yeah. Yes. So give yourself time. Give yourself time to adjust. The other thing is you do not want to make any major decisions in the short term. And I say the short term, maybe about six months. When I just came here, I had this brilliant idea that I was going to get myself a car because I have to leave work late and I don't want to be walking around or taking any bus or anything such the like so I'm gonna get a car and especially when it starts raining I don't want to be caught at a bus stop waiting on a bus in the rain and lo and behold that very same thing happened to me today fortunately I was in a store so <laughs> I mean it wasn't so bad but now looking back I'm really glad I decided against getting a car because it would have been so expensive and to dispose of it when I decide to leave is gonna be another big issue so I you know and I really when I think about it I really don't need the car because I have been managing so well without it so I'm able to save all that money that I would have spent to get the car and to maintain it and it's costing me um well when i use the public transportation for work i'm reimbursed for whatever i use so i'm saving money there as well so i mean just examine it examine the situation and see how best 
it will work but try not to make any major decisions like buying a car or, you know changing your apartment or anything like that try not to make those major decisions in the first six months because your idea about the place will change your thoughts your first impressions are going to change well more than likely will change about the place you're now in so you want to you don't want to mess that up by making you know unnecessary decisions that will be to your disadvantage in the future so that's my other thing you want to bear in mind that you are going to miss home you're going to miss what you have been accustomed to there's no getting around that but try to find things that will occupy your time that will occupy your mind and stay close to the people who are close to you i mean social media is among other things very social so use it i mean there are so many social media apps out there you can always stay in touch with those people who are closest to you your families your friends if you're in support groups like my prayer my prayer partners and some some very good friends um you know that i can always rely on always encouraging and supporting and if i have things troubling me i can always talk to them my family is there you know my my um just so many people just so and people just just check up on me every now and then and it feels so so good you know what i mean so it's it's going to be hard it's going to be hard especially um if it's a situation like like the one i'm in where you don't speak the language and the people around you don't speak your language it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable especially if you're a really sociable person it's it's going to be a bit challenging but um, just give yourself time to adjust as I said and um, it it will get better <laughs> it's gonna get better so you want to keep connected to your support groups and try and make new friends that's going to be so important try and make new friends um, and people who will help you out when I just came here there was a co-worker who really helped me out you know would take me shopping would advise me on like places to go things to do you know just show me around the place and stuff and that really 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 made a difference to my transition so you want to ensure that you have people around you who can help you and you want to stay connected with the people who um, if you have made any contact with anybody in the place that you're going to to live or to transition to you want to try and maintain contact with those persons sometimes it doesn't work out because people are busy some people really not interested in maintaining contact with you but as far as it depends on you try and make sure that you maintain that connection let them be the one to say okay you know i really don't want to they may not say it in words but their actions will tell you whether or not they want to so um, these are my few words in Jesus name <laughs> so I hope this is helpful to you if you are transitioning from one place to another um, if there is anything else that you would like to know feel free to just send me any questions or comments and I will respond to you once again thank you so much for joining me on this journey and I look forward to sharing with you once more my life's experiences my journeys my dramas my interesting stories and otherwise in japan until then i'll see you guys take care god bless love you as always and i'll talk to you soon bye bye